Well, hey there, boys and girls of the YouTube world. Today, Duff Dog and I, let's see if we can't get another Camaro running. That's right, we had so much fun in the last one, we decided, what the hey, let's go buy another one. Guess what, this one's way better. I ain't saying much, though. gonna get this tire to turn but we're not gonna be able to do donuts oh man she was uh sitting in the dirt a bit didn't even flat spot the tire or nothing them fire stones is real good so, how are we going to get that loose, Duff? You just take it right off there, I suppose? <gasps> yeah, that should turn. Had to go borrow these metric Allen wrenches from a neighbor, Chad. You know, he's a real mechanic. He works on the late models. The 10 mil metric, that's even there. Now when we get this set back, it'll be gone. Come out of there. Why do they gotta make these cases so damn hard to get the tools out of them? We could use a glove sponsor too. Tough times around here. Oh, what the French. 1980, it's still not metric. Everything on the internet's a lie. I don't wanna push, I wanna pull. Hey, Teddy Lefty, loose. I'm gonna put some Zeppelin on there. I'm gonna put this 10 millimeter back before we lose it too. God, it smells like burnt peanuts. What happened in there, Duff? Yeah, I guess they uh, filled the exhaust manifold. By they, I mean the mice, full of, full of peanuts. Real good and tight now. Oh yeah, it turns way easier. Remember how I said I wanted to pull on instead of push on it? Works better this way. Oh man, I need a sandwich. Good news is it's got new pads on it. Oh yeah, of course that's not gonna want to come off. What the fridge? I don't take that. It's been a couple days since that turned. Sweet. Now we can get her off the trailer at least. Oh, this thing's gonna be so good. I already got the Billy Squire in my head. Maybe some 38 special. A little Duff Leopard. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at old snake bite here. Reason I call it that is not because I love white snake, but look at this. Snake bite. Oh yeah, we love snakes, right Duff? Oh yeah, this thing just eats up cobras. She's been off the road since uh, 1996. Now, uh, if you carry the potato, that's like what? 24 years? 24, Duff says. But look at this. It's even got like the mullet thing that goes in the back window there, you know, that just kind of slides over that. I think it's inside the car, actually. How neat is that? You know, like I always thought that was great. You know, if you broke down or, you know, you slept in your car and, and your Canadian tuxedo got all dirty the night before, you could just wash it on there, you know, like it's one of them washboard thingers. Look who's talking, Denim Dan. You look like the president, chairman, and CEO of Levi Strauss. Where'd you get the Canadian tuxedo? <laughs> 
whatnot, but yeah, that's cool. She's the Berlinetta option. I'm pretty sure that uh, that's French for panty dropper. So it's got the N90 wheels. I don't know why they call them the N90s. They should be like the panty dropper 14s, what I would call them, but they're 14s. They're not the 15s, but I keep some clean. So, you know, they look good. It's got that fancy strap on there. So, you know, it's basically luxury. I think that's what Berlinetta stands for is luxury. Maybe bottom of the line. Who knows? Sport mirrors. She's a little, she's a little floppy though. Not a big deal. It's, it's got a little rust down here. Don't it? Don't just a little bit, just a little bit. Don't touch the rust stuff says, don't touch the rust. You know, it's got the wing on the back of this one. It's got the full window that comes around, you know, cause this is an 80. The other one is a 74. So she just got the little tiny window in the back. Guess what? It's got all the lug nuts, all 27 of them. These all on there. Hopefully the starter has got two more on it, holding it on there. But yeah, I mean the windshield, it's there. The hood doesn't match. Fenders don't match, but they're like, they got the frog mouth hood scoop, whale tail thing going on. I don't know. They're good. Uh, we don't need any of that where we're going, you know. They hit a deer and they parked it in 1996. So we're gonna have to do something there. But I was thinking like we would get some cardboard beer boxes and like, you know, fiberglass and would make something really cool with like some teeth and stuff i don't know you guys what do you think we should do with this thing uh to be honest we're probably just gonna keep an eye on the marketplace we're gonna get like a new nose cone not a new nose cone another crappy used one right perfectly crappy just like this car because we don't want a nice one because you know they're expensive and we don't like nice things the uh Previous owner, he put this zip tie on there to keep the hood from flying up, but I didn't trust his zip tie, so I put this crappy 25-year-old rest strap on there. It's a hybrid, you know, like a Tesla, only different. Use a little foo-foo cannon to get that to match. Uh, just, dang it, I lied about the windshield, the mirrors. We don't need them because anything that was in the behind us is in the past and such. So, what do you think, Duff? you want to check it out real bad don't you it's got a little rot down there but dust says don't worry about that it's got the the cab driver seat cover duff i think would approve but there's just no room in there came with a new radiator it's the crappy with the plastic tank type of kind of whatnot and such it's got the steering wheel the little tiny one so you can drive it with you know your hands handcuffed so that's good i'm pretty sure it had a, a class of 83 a uh, little thinger hanging from the mirror. It's got a Krako with built-in equalizer. Nothing but the finest. Probably got some women's underwear in there from, you know, excursions and such. Oh yeah. This thing is, don't, don't leave those in your car when you park it for like 40 years. How many miles? 129,000. She's got a tachometer. This thing must have sat in a building that was had a lot of moisture. <laughs> my mullet's getting in my mouth. What do we got going on here? The Tioga shop. What's that? The Tioga bottle shop. Oh, now we're talking. This guy liked to party. And, uh, and uh, yeah, he also liked the lattes. Oh, and it's got a bra. Dang, that's a big girl's bra right there. And there's the rear window thinger. Oh, what are these? What? Why do they say Camaro on them? What are these? Oh, no way. Dang. Duff, those is like the headlight covers you put in there, you know, to like, so you can't drive them at night, I think. But it says Camaro on it, so clearly they're for this thing. Or maybe they're mud flaps. I don't know. I think they go over the headlights. Dumbest thing ever. What else we got back here? Oh man. Oh, is that like a house speaker? What? Oh yeah, those, those were the headlight covers. And these is like the park light covers. Oh man, this thing. She must have been a real ripper in the day. Old snake bite. I'm a little disappointed there's not like some shag carpet. I suppose that was after this. What's in the trunk stuff? We gotta check that out. We got keys. I think he said the factory steering wheel was in here somewhere. He's probably just flopped that radiator on it, poked a hole. Oh no! A starter? Oh dang we why a starter? Flipping everything we touch needs a flipping starter. Dang it. Oh, I'll tell you what. How do we get into the trunk? Well, 
it's got a fuel cap and it ain't locking, so that's a plus. Oh, what is in there? We got an ice scraper, more speakers, because, you know, why wouldn't you have more speakers? A tire iron, you know, a bar in case you get into a fight. What's this? What is this? Is this a Black Sabbath shirt? Son of a, what is that? That's an AH-64 Apache. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Extra large. That's my size, too. Oh, both sides. Dang, what is it? Oh, man, that's going to be so awesome. Oh, it's even pre-ventilated. My favorite kind. Oh, yeah, that's going to be real good when it gets nice and hot in August. What's this? Dash pad? I don't know. Fairing goes underneath. Roadmaster. Them's is the good ones. What do we got back here? Armrest? I don't know. OJ gloves? Wow, how many freaking OJ gloves have we found on the channel? All of them. Oh, he was a body guy. You know how I know that? Not because of sandpaper, because uh, body guys like huffing paint teams and driving F bodies. Oh, a Walkman! Hot dang! Is there a cassette in there? Oh, son of a biscuit. I was hoping we'd find it's like some REO Speedwagon or some F lap. Who knows? What else we got here? Oh, that's, that's a rag for cleaning up things that we ain't gonna talk about. Uh, oh yeah, there is the factory steering wheel. And the grill. I mean, it's pretty much all just here, but a bumper cover, it says. You just, some assembly required. Even the headlights. Oh, he made those boxes in shop class out of balsa wood. Nothing but the finest. Yep, nothing good in there. Why? Is there a starter though? Damn it. I'm still pretty excited about that Apache shirt. And this door, there was an issue, I guess. It just don't open. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure out your door out so if we do get it to run. You know, it's only been sitting for 25 years. Alright, well, we don't want to lose them. Oh man, it's got the remote mirror, finger, mobopper, dealy. She's an air car. Console? Were they all console? Oh no, what is this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wonder what her name was. I'm pretty sure it was Brandy. Oh yeah. That's going right there. Man, if this thing could talk, I'll tell you what. That headliner, she's a little chewy, but you know, I'm guessing that door handle with the big screw holding everything together, it's probably why the door don't work. I can't wait to get my handcuffs on and drive this thing home. Yeah, well, I suppose let's check out under the hood. So uh, we got really lucky the last time and got a 400. It was supposed to be a 350. Yeah, check the numbers. It's a numbers matching 305. <laughs> it's unmolested, and that's just the way we like them, right, Duff? So, still got the smog pump on there, the AC compressor's there, it's got cruise control, it's got a quadra puke, I think, should be, maybe, I don't know. What do we got, what do we got? Four barrels of bog right here. Oh yeah. Uh, I guess the radiator is not good, maybe, who knows? I don't know, came with a new one, I suppose, so. It's got the... A flushy valve on here. Look, I cut my dang finger already. Son of a biscuit. Nancy, I'm gonna have to get one of your SpongeBob band-aids. HEI, missing the power steering cap, clutch fan. Uh, the fan is not hitting the shroud, so at least we know that the subframe isn't torn loose from the bottom of the car, right, Duff? We love these Camaros so gosh dang much that I bought myself a Canadian tuxedo. Well, half of one, you know, that's all I can afford because we're probably gonna lose the shop anyway, but let's uh. Let's, let's put a battery in this son of a gun and uh, let's rip on her. Duff, where's the battery? Oh, there it is, right new. Band Aid Nancy, she bought, she sponsored us with a brand new battery right there. Let's get her, hum let's get her hummed in there and and find out why there's a starter just laying right on the seat. You don't look impressed. Are you scared of me with my mullet on? Yeah, it would be too.
I think we're going to go back to being normal. Otherwise, I might start talking like this all the time, and it's kind of scaring me right now. So, back to work. Oh, side post. So, we got a dual terminal MTP 78 interstate. Well, how do you clean up a rusty side post? Just thread it into your brand new battery and hope for the best. That ain't going nowhere. What's your deal? Are you kidding me? The threads are all rotted right off. Let's try that one. I've never dealt with side posts where really they just been laying, hanging out for 30 years. Usually they're just stuck on an old battery. I already know what the answer is, but what's your thought on side post battery cables? I'm odd. I actually don't mind them when they work. Is that one grabbing? Nope. Well, I guess we're gonna... I guess we're gonna do the old-fashioned nipperoo here. Where you cut the rubber, and you get the old bolt out. And then you just put new 3 8 bolts in there. Spongebob band-aid. Probably gonna find a mate here shortly if I... Good thing is this A-purpose blade knife is real sharp. Just that little rubber coating just pulls the bolt in. Usually they're stripped out like the... Well, it's not stripped out. What did that guy say? It's rounded off. Usually they're rounded off. Heads get rounded out. He got all angry at me. Bold heads get rounded off, they don't get stripped. Threads get stripped. Oh, I guess you're right. Who's wincing in the back waiting for me to cut my finger off? Or sitting back hoping that I do. Either way. Alright. Oh man, there's just no threads at all left. What the heck? I like to get short 3 8 bolt. What, about 3 quarter of 1 inch long? Thread a jam nut up to it. That way it's adjustable. Yeah, we start with the positive first. One down, one to go. And then once you get the bolt tight, then you snug up and jam it. That way it's not too short, it pulls the threads out. Maybe that's why they don't have the front clip on, so you can get at the battery connections easier. Oh, top bolts are looking real tempting right now. All right. It's got oil. Good enough for the girls I go with. Before we try to crank it over, I'm going to cut the fuel line so that we don't suck up any 1996 gas, which I'm sure is all evaporated or turned to something that we really don't want inside the engine. Oh, it's got a return line even. Oh, the days of emissions. Sorry, Greta. How dare you? Got her. Well, I don't see any smoke yet, so let's see if she cranks over with the key. Well, the first thing we got to do is get this cab driver seat cover out here before it leaks its balls all over my shop floor. For sale, one good used cab driver seat cover. Do they still make these? Were these things awesome? If you've had one of these, let me know. I'm guessing they were real good since you don't see them anymore. Can't wait to sit on all those. Oh, so many seat covers. Hey, the radio lights up. What? Are you ready to go for a rip? We gotta get it to crank over first. It's not working. Imagine that. Two lock cylinders that screwed up with these stupid Camaros. We got one speaker. Oh no, I didn't even see this. Hot, oh no way. Yeah. He knew how to buy the good stuff. What did we get? Tell me a new starter. Who a new caliper. 
Oh, weird, because we just fixed that. Jason Balvik. That's an unfortunate last name. Jeez, he had her insured with Haggerty. He must have been proud of this thing. What? Oh, oh yeah. Ray-Bans? I think they're just knockoffs. What else do we got? All right, we got to get this thing cranking over. Quit screwing off, Duff. No cassette. Oh, sorry. Squirrel. What if we tip it up? Then does it turn? Do we got the wrong key? Or what the French? I mean, it goes in there, but that don't mean it's right, does it? Oh, are these things just notoriously bad? I got to get this thing running before we can go for a ride. Settle down. Quit bothering me. Keeps nudging my arm. Oh, you're not helping. You are not helping. All right. I suppose we're gonna have to crawl under the dash and figure out what the French is the deal by the key. I don't know. Let's just bypass the key. It seems like it. Whoops. Seems like it turns. So I mean, it's not locked. All for two on GM ignition switches. So pulled that radiator out of there so that Duff could get in. And I haven't seen a, a ticket in a car yet, but it's the third one from the bottom that's marked. And if you read the ticket that's stuck in there, parking on lawn, this guy was a stud. What's this, his class ring? Oh, that's a big earring. Oh, she must have been a real hot lady. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the... I won't finish that sentence. Oh, but I did find... Exactly what we're looking for. I was way off. It wasn't class of 83. She's a class of 94. Let's let's get her out in the daylight. 94. Oh yeah. This guy, he knew how to party in the early 90s. What else? Anything good? Ooh, bouncy ball. Sweet! Still bounces. Score? What's inside it? I don't know. Must have got that at the pizza ranch. We're keeping that for sure though. Front end parts. And why is that starter here? Don't say Napa. It's remanufactured, so you know it's a good one. I'm gonna have to figure out that ignition switch. Oh, looks like the uh, door latch is a little, a little chewy at one time. Whoever fixed it, though, they were way better welder than Ray Charles with his feet. I don't know why they didn't take that vent out and finish welding across the top, but whatevs. What do you think? You're upset that we don't have it running yet? Sorry, we're still way ahead of the schedule for the other Camaro. We just need a white one now. Then we have red, white, and blue Camaros. How sweet would that be? I got sick of the steering column, so... Now we're gonna try to get this door open. I think it's just that the lock doesn't want to unlock. I don't know, probably not. What's your problem? that again Duff. Are you not checking her out? Is that the good one? I don't know. We better keep it. Go ahead and fix that steering car. Oh no? You're not into that? Dang it. Thought I had him talking to it. Well I got the steering column lowered and the switch off. Let's see if she'll crank over. We got our Camaro key here. I think all the way back is crank. Well, enough of this. We're just gonna bypass the switch and go straight to the loser switch on the starter. Should be fun to get at. Oh yeah, I suppose we can't get at the starter from up here. Sweet. 
Well, at least there's a starter under here. Doesn't look new, though. Alright. Come on, turn over. What the French? I'm gonna have to jack it up in the air. See what I'm doing. Well, should be on there. Nothing. Can't even turn the headlights on. See, we got continuity. Because we only have headlights. Can't imagine these battery keels are dirty, huh, Duff? Really starting to change my mind on what I think of side post battery connections. What year did side post become a thing? I don't think that 74 had them. I don't think that 70 GMC did. 72 GMC didn't, but they'd probably been converted. Today's pressing question. When did GM implement side post battery cable? It's only GM that does it too, isn't it? That's interesting. Now, what if we try it? No. No luck, Duff. This one's gonna be a bad ground on the engine block. That can't be. It is the easiest one to get at, so let's try that first. Well, you don't get them much tighter than that. We probably won't reef on it quite so hard this time, dog. Let's try her now. Still nothing. Hmm. I guess we'll go clean up the connections on the starter. Clean up the connection on the starter solenoid. See, that makes a difference. I guess we're going to have to pull the starter off. Probably why there's a spare one on the passenger seat. Well, let's pull the starter off. This is all Puddin's fault. Talking about Morsky's starter up there. Oh, I swear that's all he does is work on starters. He should change his name to uh, Morsky Starter Repair. Now every car I touch is going to need a starter. What was that? Oh, a starter shim. By golly, somebody actually used one. Oh, cheese and rice. What the frick? Oh yeah, snapped off. This is the suckiest starter ever. That's saying something around here. So now what are we gonna do? Just break it more than we already have. Just give up already. Say uncle for five six. What is this made out of? I'm just gonna pull everything through. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Got it. It's 3510 Reman. I don't know why it's not working. Guess we'll hook up some jump cables, find out. This isn't even the one off the car. This is one that was just laying here. Well, let's see if the one that was on the passenger seat works. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, let's test all those in the car. I bet it works. Oh man. She's rusty. Up inside the nose cone. Nothing. Sweet. We got one for parts. Because we're running low. Should start asking for starter sponsors. At least it came with one. Guess we'll bolt that under there and get back at it. Okay, let's hook up the battery cables. See if our brand used starter works. This is really starting to annoy me. <laughs> that's Boy, a knee slapper. Pretty sure I've put more starters on in the last year than I have in my entire life. Heck yeah, right Duff? Oh man, your bandana even matches the snake bite. Yeah. Get in there, check her out. What's on the other side, huh? Yeah, I should clean that other seat off for you. What do you think about it? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do a little cleaning. The old pad right there, she's, she's had her. We'll clean that out. But yeah, turn it over. Sweet. Give her a little tickle of the old hot sauce. Set that up there to fall into the horsepowers. Let's see what we got. Oh man. Yeah, we're getting close, Duff. A little's good, lots better. It's not ready yet, just hang on. So it's cranking over and it's popping off like we got sparks. So we just gotta get fuel to it now. So I think we'll check out the fuel tank, see what that looks like. If we can use that or if we gotta get the boat tank out. But yeah, I love starters. But I think it'll go. Then we gotta figure out brakes. What else? Yeah, then we're good. Fuel tank and brakes. So we're back here looking inside the fuel tank. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like spotless, isn't it, Duff? So I don't know. <clears throat> there must have just been some residual fuel left in the line. I think we'll be good. So we got it tipped back, so all the fuel should be at the back. And it's bone dry and it's clean, so we're golden. Let's fill her up. Don't be a wank and use a rusty tank. So since the fuel tank didn't look too bad, we're going to put this clear start on fire plastic fuel filter. That way we can see what kind of crud's in it. Make sure you put it on the right way. That one says two carb. That's the carb. Apparently somebody mullet man didn't use two wrenches and screwed up the fuel line so now we got rubber stuff idiots don't 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 then we stuck some new hoses on underneath like i said since this is an emissions car it's got this return line it's supposed to be quarter inch i'm apparently out of quarter inch fuel hose so got some on order stuck some 5 16 on there for now if you're running one of these off a nurse tank Make sure you plug that or hook that back up to your nurse tank, otherwise it fills up the tank in the back and you'd be a real wank if you overflowed your tank. Comment down below if you know somebody who's done that. And then while I was under here, I was just admiring everything. How it hasn't been jumped over any approaches. A couple scratches there. I think they were pushing it around with the skid steer a little bit. But really, I mean, that's the lower fender. This thing isn't that rusty. Not bad at all. The exhaust pipe is uh, all janked up. And I think I noticed the shifter wasn't quite working right on the inside. 
And so I noticed the cable wasn't hooked up. I, I don't know if the exhaust pipe came over and hit that and unhooked it or what, but I also noticed there's no detents in there. So apparently the rooster comb is jacked up on this one too. And I think we're gonna have to bend that pipe out of the way to get the pan off. What? Is this an F-body thing that the rooster comb nut gets loose? Or what the French? Oh. But yeah, floors are pretty damn good in this thing. Weird. So I guess we'll pull a gosh darn tranny pan. And also, why is there a shift lever going up to the column when it doesn't have a shift on the column set up? I don't know. Weird. All right, let's see if we can straighten this out. With our heat and strength. Oh, Hercules, Hercules. Oh yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just a little bit of restriction for some horsepowers. Oh, looks like the last guy's cut that off. Looks pretty freshish. Failed to tell me about that. Oh, this thing was so classy though. A little turn down at the end of the glass back. Oh, this thing was such a ripper. Maybe I'll leave the camera set up this time so when I get transmission fluid all up in my face, you guys can witness it. How exciting would that be? We should clean out the drain pan so we can reuse this stuff too like last time. Classy. Drain plug? Of course not. All right, here's the messy part. We're going for bright red, that's not bright red. That's a little more brown. I'm gonna get a rag. I mean, if it doesn't look like a crime scene under here, you're not doing it right. Biscuit. That looks really watery. What would come out first? Oh yeah, water was sitting in the bottom of the pan. Fudge. Maybe we won't be putting that back in. How would you get a bunch of water in the transmission pan? Is this rooster comb upside down? It's not nothing for it to even ride on, Duff. What's going on here? Uh. Uh. Is there parts in the bottom? Oh, oh, I bet that piece needs to be up there. <sighs> Got a turbo 350 laying around we can rip parts out of stuff. Oh yeah, spring is broken. And it bolts to the valve body. So much for this thing being easy. I think in order to get that bolt out, we gotta take the filter off. So let's just drop that hardware right into our pan of oil. Oh, look at all that water running out. We might put a new filter in it. Or we'll just let that one marinate down there in the bottom of the pan for a while before we put it in. So we could weld that, but I'm guessing it's like spring steel and it's probably not going to weld real well and it's going to break again. So, probably going to have to go look for one of those. Hmm. So, found this. Transmission on the side of the road because it's cleanup week, you know, the gift that keeps on giving. I could feel that it had all the detents in it. So we popped the pan off. Got this springy dealy clipper roller my bobber out of there. And we'll be back on the road. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Never mind the Exxon Valdez esque. One of the worst oil spills in US history. Spillage that happened here. Nothing to see. None of it went down the floor drain, Greta. How dare you! 
You know, when you got a hog dog 305, you got to run the premium racing fuel. She's got the big cam and the SMOG heads. Yeah, it's not none of that weak pudding 5.0 H2O or whatever he calls them. She runs on pure alcohol. Just like everything else around here. Hopefully that tank didn't look really good because there's a hole in it. I guess I should have checked that out. Don't worry, Greta. These uh, potable water tanks work perfectly fine for transporting fuel. I always like to put the full five gallons in there, six, whatever it is, you know. We don't want to be walking back because I'm guessing that quadra bog is really going to suck her down. As always, don't be a wank. Fill your tank. As much as you guys want to see me walk back in one of these videos, we're going to try to avoid that. Especially in a GM. While we're on that, I don't have anything against Ford or Mopar or Studebaker or anything else. I just like to make fun of all of them. Look at this. Threw enough trash away so that Duff can sit in here. I bet he'll be on his way shortly. Three, two, one. Yep, that's him trying to get in here. So I was going to show the people how the shifter works because it's got detents now. You can hear it. There's some funky stuff going on in the console, but there's probably been a lot of funky stuff going on in that console. A little bit of Hoover Schneef on it. A little bit of, you know, things on the road with the ladies and the rules of the road and whatnot. But Oh yeah, I took the seat covers off. These things really aren't that bad. We're gonna have to just throw that headliner away. Duff's already digging the snake bite here. Cleaned out the back seat and he climbed right in. Good little Dee Dee Speed Shop Queen Dee Dee live cruising in the Winnipeg or wherever they are at in Canada. I reckon Dan won't do a burnout yeah. because it'll have no oil pressure when he's done. Yeah, do a burnout, you sissies. Go well, check out DD Speed Shop. Tell him that Mortsky says you're a hoser for not doing a burnout. I dumped like a gallon and a half of new ATF in the transmission because, you know, we got a new filter in it. And there was an awful lot of water in there. I don't know if somebody left the hood open or what the flip happened there, but... I gotta hook up the battery and then we're gonna crank it over and see what kind of... I know it's gonna fill full of crappy fuel because there was some crappy fuel when I replaced the rubber hose down there. But we'll give her a shot of hot sauce. Hopefully it lights off. Now that we've got a shifter. Oh, somebody's messed with the quadra bog because that is not factory hardware that's hooked up to the kick down and the throttle cable. Probably the same guy who twisted that hose off. The line, whatever. And probably the same guy who lost the power steering cap. I guess we're going to need to put some more ATF. That was a pretty big pan, but I don't know how much of it was water. I guess I don't even know if it still runs. Oh yeah, we gotta put coolant in it too. Wish you would just turn it over, Duff. You're not much help with this one. Oh, look at that, we're getting fuel up there. Sweet. It doesn't look that bad, surprisingly. So, I'm sure our accelerator pump's dried up. Yep. We got fuel up to that filter. It looks like stuff that should burn. Just not pumping anything. Just need an accelerator pump. Can I get this thing apart on the car? I don't know. Maybe we'll just grab another quadra bog off the shelf. I think I got something, because this thing clearly not working. I suppose we could take it apart, see what we got. What the flip? That's what I want to do. Take a carbonator off.
So here's our detent assembly for our rooster comb that we replaced. That's supposed to be one piece. <laughs> oh, you know, somebody's been in here because that shouldn't be a nipple. And this mechanics wire for the high idle, I don't know. That shouldn't be there. So somebody knew what they were doing. Thought so, anyway. I don't even know why I'm opening this thing up. I feel like it's going to be an epic disappointment. So, should be, this is your accelerator pump. Usually these dry up. This one doesn't feel too bad, but clearly it's not pumping fuel out. I think it's supposed to come out through these holes and then, I don't know. But there is fuel in there. Yeah. So maybe if we just put a new rubber on that accelerator pump and find a gasket that's not torn, not really sure here. What I don't like is uh, clearly somebody's been into it. I don't like when trying to fix other people's screw ups, even though it seems like that's pretty much all we do here. should do this in a nice clean area like your dirty workbench. I'm gonna go see if we got a new umbrella for that. No accelerator pump. Found a bunch of gaskets. By golly. I think that's even the right one. What a son of a biscuit. If only we had a flipping accelerator pump. We fill that cavity up. Yeah, see how it's Trying to get fuel to come out there and there. This is what happens when when these get dried up and when you go out to your quarter jet and you gotta pump and pump and pump and pump to get it to fire off in the morning. So basically what you're doing is just ramming this thing up and down a bunch of times so it gets warm enough to expand. And then that'll give you some fuel to squirt out of those ports to take off, but So we got it apart, I feel like we need to address it. I wonder if Chin's got one laying around. I got other carburetors to swap on, but I just soon leave this one on there. Because I don't know if the other ones are any better either. Chin had a kit laying around. Brand new. So we're going to ruin that kit by stealing the accelerator pump out of it. So you want that cup facing down. So you slide that over there like that. Now. Whoa! Did you see her squirt? When your girl sees me. Way good. So now, I'm just gotta figure out how to put it back together. There you have it. How to replace an accelerator pump the hard way, because it's the only way we do things around here. Put our new gasket on. Goofball scratched himself on the floor.
Did you get it? I guess see if she lights off. Should have an accelerator pump now, so that'll help. Apparently Goofball thinks snake bite is ready to rock. Do you fully approve of this thing? Did you get fleas from it or worse, crabs? Well, look at that shifter. Not bad, huh? Better yet, look at that ignition switch. Is that an ignition switch or is that a key? Who knows? You like the back better? Okay then. Here we go. Take a couple of revolutions for the fuel to get up to the carb again. What is going on, Duff? Oh, my. We got fuel. Is it um, not going where it's supposed to? Nope. It's not pumping out of those jets. Oh, that side's a little bit. Our fuel filter's getting some fuel, not a ton. Not getting any fuel. Driver's side here, though. I guess worst case scenario, Duff could just live in this thing. What do you think? Would you live in a Camaro? Yeah, you'd live in about anything. Yeah. I think we gotta swap a different carb on. This one's just too gummed up. Not getting any fuel where it needs to be. So you can clean it up some more, but that doesn't sound like any fun at all. So round up a carbonator to throw on here, I suppose. I got a good one, but let's see if we got a crappy-ish one to throw on, because what fun would that be to just throw a good one on there? Okay. Sweet. Stupid Camaros. So I was laying in bed last night and had an epiphany, and she said, hook up your electric fuel pump just to make sure that it's not a fuel pump issue. And I didn't think there was a lot of fuel in the filter. So now we got the electric fuel pump hooked up. Just bypassing our mechanical pump. Let's see if that makes a difference. Duff has been sleeping in this thing all day. I'm pretty sure he slept in it last night. He's a Camaro fanatic. What do you think? Is this slingshot gonna engage? Yeah, lick your manhood if you think so. Okay, she's gonna go, he says. Your manhood lied. Pretty close, though. It should just pop right off, Duffers. Yeah, Tiffany was wrong. That carburetor is just Disappointment that is Berlinetta. Oh, we got fuel all over. Did you guys see that? Interesting. We gotta find a carbonator. So, dug through my quadrobog tote. Found another mystery quadrobog. You always wanna keep a couple of spares on hand, cause 
Everybody else screws them up before you get them. So let's see how this goes. It's barb fitting. The fuel line was really tight in there and I got to thinking, well, hopefully they didn't put a pipe thread fitting in there. Because this is inverted flare, so it was the right fitting. Don't put a pipe fitting into an inverted flare. You will disappoint me and your father and your grandfather and the next guy that's got to work on the Camaro that you're working on. Or Chevy Love. Whatever it is that you're working on putting. We're going to have some vacuum leaks until we plug all these, but I think we'll just try it for S's and G's right now. See what happens. Always test your throttle linkage when you swap carburetors. Run her wide open and let off it. See that it returns. Uh, I've had instances where they stick wide open. That's not much fun. Twice now it's happened. That'll make your brown eye pucker. Should we check for leaks? We suppose it's gonna start this time? Or would you rather I just petted you? I think we know the answer to that one. True for ride. All right, slingshot engaged. Slingshot engaged. That carbonator sounds way better already, Duff. Should have put the accelerator pump in this carb. What's that squealing noise? Yeah, what is that? Does that hurt your ears? I don't think we're getting enough fuel up there. What do you think? You're in concurrence? This thing sucks, Duff. Why you like it so much? All kinds of fuel. So, why isn't it running? I don't think it's flooded. I mean, I do think it's flooded, but it doesn't sound like it. What was that? <laughs> Did you hear something fall off? Oh boy. I'll go check it out. You just stay here, get comfortable. Oh, you're coming with to check it out? Well, what made the hellacious clunk? I mean, you don't suppose they blew up the engine when they smashed it up. Oh, our smog pump locked up. Well, we could fix that. Everybody in California, look away. And just like that, smog pump delete. He's got a lot of faith. He jumped in the back this time, didn't you? Oh. oh, weird how much easier it turns over. Oh, we probably gotta hook our fuel pump back up. Duh.
It's alive, Duffers! Now we just gotta plug a bunch of vacuum lines. So plugged off all the vacuum ports, uh, PCVs hooked up, not PVC, PCV. And the vacuum advance is hooked up, but everything else is plugged up. We haven't bypassed the electric fuel pump. I figured since it's already hooked up, let's just see how good it runs on the electric pump for now. And then we'll unhook it, bypass it, maybe. We'll see what happens. But anyway, everything's capped off as far as vacuum leaks, hopefully. So let's see if it runs any better. You're still in here. You really do like this thing. Yeah. You gonna drive? Touch it, cowboy. Let's see. Slingshot engaged. Slingshot engaged. Ha <laughs> ha! That big lopey cam in that 305, just a rump and a rump rump. Yeah, can't put anything by you. You don't believe my crap. Oh yeah, that hog cam and that 305, she really likes it. Run too bad. Well, she's gonna run like a scalded cat, but put some coolant in it. Got a little blow by, just just steaming a bit. I have to figure out that alternator belt. Well, maybe not. As long as we're gonna be running, it might be okay. But we'll see if we can bypass that smog pump. Just for you, Greta. Got to figure out brakes first. I was gonna try the transmission, and then I thought. I don't need to smash into the door or the square body parts that I'm working on right now behind me because I don't have brakes, so it's probably the next thing we got to address. But it runs. Things run okay. Probably could use a tune-up. Definitely could use some plugs and wires and cap and rotor, but we're not going to stick a bunch of money into a 305. So we took our wheel off on the side of the car here that the caliper was hanging up on. And we're going to go ahead and push that caliper in and hope that it doesn't stick again because that's really all you can do, even though we know it's going to stick. If that's the case, then we probably got to replace them. So we'll just put a C-clamp on there and hold it in place or a vice grip on the hose or our favorite trick of putting a nail inside of the brake line. So we got our fancy kit here for retracting calipers after you put some new pads in there, if you were ever to do that. We don't have anything really with this brakes around here. Oh, we could steal the calipers off the Red 74 if we need to. So what we're going to do, this is basically just a C-clamp glorified with some fancy adapters. And all we're going to do is spread that cylinder out. You can do this with the brake pad or a C-clamp. Probably don't want to use a hammer. Sometimes it helps to crack the bleeder. This tool is a real piece of crap. Maybe I just don't know how to use it, but I feel like we're going to get that wedged in there and then we're going to get angry. 
But that's what this show's all about. You guys watching me do things to make my life painful. So you're supposed to retract now. Come on. Should we crack that bleeder? So now when I tighten this up, we should be getting fluid over there. But we're not. There's fluid to the back side of the bleeder. Brake fluid's really hard on paint. Not that this paint's any good, but... Well, that dent looks fresh. That caliper is not retracting. I wonder if we need to get a bigger caliper. Er, see clamp. What have you done, Richard? What'd you do? Well, should we see what this big dog does? We're just using that old brake pad to kind of spread out the load so we don't spin that, push that piston in. Kitty wampus, because you don't want that. Because then you really got a bunch of garbage right now. So we should be getting fluid coming out there if this thing is retracting, but I suppose the fluid could be coming out in the master cylinder if it's moving. This is exactly what you don't want to do to your C clamps. Do we have a bigger wrench stuff? That's a joke. Something's got to be moving. Why are we not getting any fluid? Oh yeah. Well, the cylinder retracted all the way. I don't know why it didn't push the fluid out the bleeder. There's about a snowball's chance in hell that this doesn't automatically lock up on us first time we hit it. So put a couple quarts of water in the radiator and that's all it needed. So I don't know why it comes with a spare radiator. But we do need a radiator for the 74 Bluezer, so we can use it there. Hook the fuel line back up to the fuel pump, the mechanical one. Dug through the stash and found a new cap slash think with your dipstick, Jimmy. <laughs> For the power steering pump. What else do we do? Oh, put the cap back on the master cylinder. I think she's. Oh yeah, that's right. We got a we got a belt back on here. So I looked up what the belt should be when it doesn't have a smog pump, and I didn't have one of those, but I had the next size smaller. So we're pretty much at the beginning of the adjustment here. But I thought I was gonna have to take the smog pump off. I just took the pulley off and the belt cleared, so freaking minty, good to go. So now I think we can fire it up, Let's see if the brakes and transmission work and such. Go whip some donuts. Let's see if we can get her fired up. Check some fluids. She's backfiring through the carburetor. The timing must be off. That's what I'm thinking. The distributor's tight, though. If you work on a bunch of garbage like me, get yourself one of these distributor wrenches. They're real handy. Oh, Jesus Christ. These GMs usually never get sticky like this. Ford's like to. We gotta get that timing adjusted. I don't really want to pry on this vacuum advance canister, but that's what we're gonna do. And it's not happy about it. Give her a little 
more. They parked this thing because it hit a deer, so I don't know how the timing could possibly have just gotten off over all this time, unless the timing was screwed up and they decided to run into something to get an insurance check. I've seen stranger things. Just a bit much, we're gonna bring her back a bit. Try that out for size, I think we'll leave it there. Even though it doesn't seem like it's hitting on all eight. A new set of plugs and wires would really help her out. Trying to spray a little Zeppam on the belt to figure out where the squeal was coming from. I didn't figure it was my new belt, but maybe it was. Because it's kind of loose again. But I was looking at the lower pulley and it's kind of dancing all over the place. And that bottom pulley's bolted to the harmonic balancer and the harmonic balancer balances harmonics via rubber. We know what rubber does on crappy old cars like this, it deteriorates. So I think the harmonic balancer is shot. That lower pulley is just dancing around like a California raisin. Well, it's not moving around when I pry on it, so it's probably going to be okay for a quick rip around the block. Just isn't running real good, though. It's got a lot of blow by, so I'm guessing if we pull the spark plugs out, we're going to find some oily ones from some oil usage, maybe? Who knows? Maybe snugging that belt up will take that squeal away, but I don't have a good feeling. Oh, I feel like pulling the spark plugs out is just going to open a can of worms, so. Let's just try driving it first. See what happens. Well, we better see if this hog goes forward and backwards. I don't know why we'd have to go backwards, but forward would be handy. Watch Duff come running when we get her fired up. good that we're just going to zip tie the hood shut. That way we never have to open it again. How did they have that tied down before? We should just take it off. You know, that's typical Red Dragon stuff. Took the restrictor plate off, give the Red Dragon a little more juice. But uh, let's keep that on the down low. We don't need that where we're going. That ain't going nowhere. Well done. What do you say, bud? Saddle up. Well, she ain't got much for brakes, but we just want to go fast. Let's take it for a rip. See what she's got. Here you go for a ride. Oh yeah. We're gonna pick up all the chicks. She shuts a little hard. Are you going to chill in the back? Come right up front. Yeah, back, that's where the action's at. I got you. Oh, yeah! She's uh, ready for the streets. Some brakes. Real bad. 
mirrors. Oh, there we go. They are adjustable. And dang. Feels good to be back in the F body, don't it, Doug? Breeze through the back of our mullet. Jowls flapping in the wind, hanging out the window. Oh, yeah. You're going to probably want to ride up front. You're going to get thrown around all over back there when we're whipping donuts. This thing's going to slide real good. Oh. Let's get out of here. What was that? Still got all four wheels, though. Feel like your spring broke on your side, though. Guess we never did check out the rear suspension. I like this handcuff steering wheel, though. We can hook up the kick down. Pulls a little to the left. That's all right. She's meant to go round and round. That's what these F bodies they do best. No speedometer. I'm pretty sure we're doing like 95, 100 right now. Anyway. Temp gauge says 260, but that can't be right. Oh yeah, this thing handles great with this handcuff steering wheel. Hopefully we don't run in any pheasants like we did last time in an F-body ride. Oh, there's a pheasant. early for donut corner here cuz slowing down ain't a specialty it don't even feel like there's brakes and like the Bronco we're just gonna roll right past it stop I think she's running works good news is the temp gated but she's down to 220 
don't even see any steam coming out from under the hood. That radiator, that, that was a score. Hopefully that'll fit in the blazer. Yeah. <laughs> Antivirus. <laughs> I was wondering why it's so loud. Uh, apparently the exhaust decided to just become side exit exhaust. And also, I think the brake is now hanging up because we're on a hill and it's uh, not in park and it's not rolling duff. Issues. Probably dang, Duff. Oh, snake bite. She cleans up all right. If only the front half was matching. And there, what do you think? Yeah. I'll fix that hood gap. She's good. I didn't even find too many surprises. Paint's bubbling there. And, uh, she's getting a little chewy there, but not too bad. Clear coat lift in there. She'd, uh, she'd clean up and do a real ripper, what do you think? Oh yeah, the tail tells the tale. I don't know what that is, but we can rattle can that, don't you think? All right, I did the outside. You do the inside. Fix the brakes and that exhaust. Tune it up while you're at it. See if you can round up a front clip. Well, there you have it. What do you guys think of these second gen Camaros? I like the 70, 71, two, threes better than the 74 to six or whatever they are. I don't like these plastic nose cones, they're all right. 70, 71, that'd be real good, but kind of out of our budget. So let me know, what'd you guys do with this thing? It actually cleans up pretty good. Needs a lot of work. Uh, brakes, tires, exhaust, tune up in the engine, shifter, ignition switch, gauges. Needs some stuff, but it's a start. It's got a title. Runs, drives, but other than the bumper, it's pretty much all there. So. Let me know what you guys think we should do with this thing. It's probably going to get sold, because that's what we do. Stupid birds. Wish Puddin' was here to chase them off. Get out of here, birds! You should be chasing those birds so that I don't have to. Go get them. Where's the bird? All right. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Check out the other channels down below. As always, doesn't matter how you get it done, as long as you're having fun. These cars are kind of fun to drive. We should probably keep one and drive it a little bit more, huh, Duff? What do you think? Wanna go for a ride? Go for a ride? Oh, yeah. Duff, are you sad to see the Camaro go? And Jake? You don't even fit! And then you took the key. <laughs> Why would you take the key? It's a nice piece of crap you got here, Todd. It is, thanks. <laughs> you think you hate it now? Wait till you drive it. Wait till you start driving it. Let me run over his fender. Son of a buck, Walter, that was fun. 
I'm even gonna leave these Ray-Bans in here. I'm glad you're leaving the graduation. In the, the class of 94. That was a penny dropper age. Here you go. Check out the trunk. I'm keeping my ignition switch though. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have to swing by the house and get my own. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, oh it's included? It's, yeah, it's even got the, the, the blackout headlight covers. Wow. I think there's an extra set. It's got the bra. You know, you haven't seen put, one of those in a while. I, That'll just fix it, right? Can I put the bra on instead of the front bumper? That'd yes. Cool. Original steering. Oh, nice. What is this jacket? Oh, it's good. It's like a liquor store. It's a bottle shop, grog shop, something. Tioga Bottle <laughs> Shop, Tioga, North Dakota. Holy fat guy in a little coat. Fat guy in a little coat. I can't get it on, honey. <laughs> She's not impressed. There's like, and then there's one little spot here, you know, like I suppose moisture sat in there, and then on that, and then of course here, just a little bit on both yeah, sides. Both sides but, are gonna be like that, but, but the floors and stuff, yeah, I mean, compared to that other car, are way good. So I take it they're not in the changeable front ends on them. No, I mean, I bet you could, but it would look. I don't know. I think those '73 fronts are hideous. Oh. We missed him pulling out his Velcro wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Camouflage Velcro. Oh, Duff, what do you think? I'm just happy to be out swimming in swamp water. Can't wait. Are you sad? Well, go check out Land, 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 Garage. Land Fart Garage for more Camaro action coming soon. <laughs> coming soon. 2021 Winter Project. Interesting. We got him good. <laughs> right, Dove? <laughs> but it came huh. with a Gateway Chevrolet Geo tag. Right. And a, a coat. And a key that doesn't even work for it. Yep. I'm going to need that starter back, too. <laughs> yeah, well, you can have it. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting low on starters around here, huh, Dove? Uh, you got... You, do they sell fuel pressure regulators at Napa or what? Oh man, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna kick that underneath there, you know. We don't want that uh, hitting any oncoming traffic. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Sad day. Another second gen Camaro down the road. Maya, Skyla, Duff, what should we get now? You guys want to go rolling some deer poop? Maybe go swimming in the creek? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, go check out Landshark Garage. Maybe he'll get a Camaro going someday. Probably not. You get to hear him say um a bunch of times though. Um.